Hey guys, what's going on? It's Justin from Vonix Entertainment, and welcome to this week's Zer location video in Destiny 1. So this week, Zer is in the reef for Destiny 1, and he's right over in the hole in the wall. Remember, you just go down the stairs and come over here to this hole and go inside. So Zer this week is selling for his legacy engram this week a helmet engram. So if you're missing any helmets from year one or two that you would like to get a year three version of, it is 29 strange coins to get one. And remember, you then would want to go to the exotic wall in the tower to be able to purchase the better version of it. For the Titan class, he's selling the Twilight Garrison. Now the Twilight Garrison is probably one of my favorite Titan exotics just to run around with. It allows you to evade while airborne. So this means that you're going to double tap B and move in a direction. So it's going to be forward, back, left, right, whatever. And you can actually evade that direction. Back whenever this first came into being, you were able to fully dodge a truth, ro a truth rocket, which is really hard to do. You were able to do that, but only if you timed it perfectly. Uh, now, it's now I'm not sure about that. I think truth is actually a lot easier to dodge now. Uh, but still, you can dodge rockets. You can dodge a lot of things. And also, if you dodge forward, you're going to move a little bit faster. Now, remember, you have three charges of evade until it needs to rest for a second to recharge one of those evade abilities. It won't pop up on your screen in just a few seconds. You just learn it throughout using it. For the Hunter class, he's selling the Skyburner's Annex. Now, this has a chance to create orbs on heavy weapon kills, which is great. But the second part of this is what is really bad. With full super, orbs may grant special ammo. This means that when your super is full, you're going to still pick up orbs, even if you're full on special ammo, and... You're still going to pick up orbs if you're not full on special ammo. You're still going to pick up orbs and you have a chance to get special ammo from that. It's not guaranteed, so you may just pick up an orb and nothing happened. So this makes this really bad, in my opinion. For the Warlock class, he is selling the Purifier Robes. Now the Purifier Robes, whenever you activate Radiance from the Death, which means that you have to be able to, uh, you're on your Sun Singing class, and you have the last perk of Radiance unlocked, which lets you come back from death. Whenever you activate it from death, it'll disorient nearby enemies, and it's kind of like a flash, like a flash grenade going off. It works very well in Trials. It works very well in Crucible whenever enemies are around you. However, keep in mind that this only blinds them. It does not slow their movement, it does not impede them from jumping, it does not make them not shoot you. They can still shoot you even though they can't see you. So this means that you can activate it and they might be looking at you whenever you activate it and as soon as you activate it they're going to be go blind but they're still going to shoot at you and they can kill you. So keep that in mind. And then he is selling the Mina Multi-Tool for his Weapon of the Week. The Mina Multi-Tool is probably one of the best scout rifles in the game, if not the best. It has Third Eye, which lets the radar stay up while, act, while you're zoomed in, which is great to have in Crucible and other things. Lightweight, uh, Quick Draw, and Field Scout. I would highly recommend Lightweight or Quick Draw if you're wanting to run as fast as you can, have a very mobile class, you want lightweight, and if you're wanting to be able to pull up the weapon faster, quick draw is the way you would want to go. And then its final perk, the Mita Multi-Tool perk, is this weapon boosts your movement speed even more, as well as it also fires on, on a hair trigger, which means that on your controller, you do not need to pull down your trigger the entire way to be able to fire this weapon. And then it has its two little per looks, Special Ops and Arctic Survivalist, which both look pretty well. In 
Xur's Weapon Bundles of the Week this week. He is selling the Mito Multi-Tool with the Special Ops that we just saw. And the Truth and the Prototype. The Prototype just looks like it's made out of a lot of sheet metal. And then he is selling a Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil yet again this week. So thank you all so much for watching the Destiny 1 Xur location video. There is going to be a stream later today around 2 o'clock if I'm able to get everything done by then. If not, we will start the stream at latest at 3 o'clock today on Twitch. So there's a link down in the description below on our Twitch account so you can go and watch the stream. As well as there's also a link to the Destiny 2 Zer location video down below. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you on the stream today.